y'all, it's me, Gina, and welcome back to Jabbering with Gina. <laughs> so today we're doing another little sit down conversation chit chat video with me. And one of the things that I wanted to talk about, um, I recently did a video on my hysterectomy that I had, my surgery. And one of the things I wanted to go over was recovery. The definition of recovery is to return to a normal state of health, mind, or strength. So we know that there can be multiple types of recovery, recovery for different reasons. Um, the reason I want to talk about this is because of all of my health journey, not specifically the hysterectomy, but most recently the hysterectomy that I went through, recovery has become a competition. And it's not. Recovery is not a competition. There is no winner at the end of this. The, the goal and the prize is that you get better as a person, but there is no winner between people as far as recovery. Nobody's keeping score when we're talking about recovery. But recovery has become a, a competition. It's detrimental to other people who are going through a similar situation. One of the things that I noticed when I was, when I determined I needed a history to me, had set a date and was getting prepared for it was, I had a bunch of people, um, first off that I didn't know had ever had a history to me, come up and say, oh my God, I had that done. You'll be fine. I was in and out the same day. I was up in a week doing errands. I went back to work four days later. Oh, you know, I didn't even know I had it done. I was home that day working on the computer. And the, you know, they say that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Not necessarily. Good intentions pave a lot of roads. Not all of them to hell, but some of them are. And what, the reason I say that is because you may not come up and tell somebody your recovery story or your experiences with this particular thing. And you may not tell them that, meaning, hey, look at me. This is how great I am. But sometimes that's how it comes off. And when you're trying to tell somebody how you experienced it or what you went through, that's going to be in that person's mind. I had so many people tell me that when they had a hysterectomy, oh, they were better in a week. Oh, you know, they didn't need four weeks off. They were back at work in two weeks. So before I even had mine done, I had my expectation set that I was going to have a hysterectomy. I was going to be back home. And in a week, I was going to be back to the normal person that I was before I had this very major surgery. And when that didn't happen for me, I was very disheartened and I was upset and I couldn't figure out what had happened to me or why I wasn't up to the standard that everybody else was. And I've seen it a lot um, lately and maybe I just pay attention to it because I've gone through it. But when you post something, especially on so social media and you're like, oh, hey, guys, you know, I was diagnosed with, you know, X, Y, Z disease or health condition or illness and somebody's like oh I have that you know I, I take uh, two pills a day and I don't even know I have it that's not giving somebody experience or advice or that's telling them that this is what I did this is what you should expect too and then when things don't go there that same way for them if it's worse then people wonder why am I not as good as this person what happened in my hysterectomy it was a lot worse than I thought it was. It was a lot more painful than I thought it was afterwards. It drained me of all of my energy. And I couldn't figure out why I was not in the same situation that these other people were when they were telling me, oh, it was nothing. And one thing you have to look at is that every single person is different. It, it doesn't matter if you're recovering from a surgery, if you're recovering from an illness, if it's a breakup, if it's a loss of a family member, if it's mental issues, if it's addiction issues. Everybody has a different situation. We're different. People are chemically different. We are mentally different. We're physically different. And so nobody's situation is going to be exactly the same. It's dependent upon the person. And even within that person, so even within myself, recovery specifically is not linear. It's not a straight line. Recovery doesn't do like this. Recovery is like this right here. You know, it's like the Tasmanian devil there's, there's, there's really nothing there 
speaking of Tasmanian devils. So my own recovery journey for me was not a straight line. I would feel really good after the surgery and then just even minutes later crash and feel completely awful. So recovery is not black and white. It is not a straight line. It's not that way from person to person. And if it's not even that way, you know, internally for yourself, you could have the same surgery twice and have completely drastic results in recovery. My uncle recently had a knee surgery and it was so funny because he was scared to do it and so many people were like, oh, it was nothing. It's not what you think. The pain is not bad. You'll be up walking in no time. And he has had a really hard time from it. The pain was bothering him. It was hard to use it. Like it was, it was not what he was mentally prepared for because people had just gone up to him and been like, this is amazing. And the reason that people do that is people are so quick to share the good in certain things that they don't share the bad. It's opposite than most things. Like if you go to a restaurant and you have good service, you're not that likely to post it. If you have horrible service, you're gonna post it. In people's lives, when things go really great, that's what they share. They don't share the back side of it. So these people who had horrible situations were not coming up to him because A, they didn't wanna scare him and B, you just don't tell people that. They weren't being like, oh my God, that was an awful surgery. It took me years to get back to normal. They were just like, oh, it's you'll be fine. It's not nearly that bad. And then he is wondering why his is so much worse than somebody else's. It comes down to the fact that we are different people. I have endometriosis. A friend of mine could have endometriosis. It'd be completely different kinds, different types. These people that were telling me that I found out were like, oh, I had a hysterectomy. I was back. It was nothing. Had their uterus removed. I had my uterus, my cervix, my tubes, my ovaries, everything on top of the fact that I already have multiple chronic illnesses to compound my recovery. And I felt like, you know, I was doing something wrong or that something was wrong with me that I was not able to bounce back and recover like these people were, that I was weaker than they were and that I was a weak person. I recently had a friend who is just had a hysterectomy and I looked on her Facebook because she was trying to prepare herself and there was a person who was like, oh, I had that done. I didn't even stay at the hospital one day. friend who was going through a hysterectomy she had reached out to me I gave her my experiences and what I experienced um, going through a hysterectomy and I'm very open with my health journey and with my issues I don't mind telling the bad along with the good but I'm very quick to tell people you know this is what happened to me you are completely different and you may have a completely different response but this is what happened to me and she shared a link for a meal train because she has children, she's married, and you know, you don't know what to expect. So for the first couple weeks, if people wanted to volunteer to help bring food, to give gift cards so they could pick up food so it would be less stress on her spouse, completely understandable. And somebody commented under there and was like, oh, I had that done, it was nothing, you'll be up in a couple days cooking, you won't even need to worry about the meal train. And she was quick to be like, hey, you know, I have some other stuff going on, it's just not the simple surgery, the simple hysterectomy, um, I just wanna be safe. And I was quick to put down there, hey, you know, your recovery is your recovery. It's not my recovery. It's not somebody else's recovery. It's your recovery. And to me, that whole concept of this is what happened to me, so I don't know why you're worried about this kind of stuff, is a detrimental thing to somebody in their health and their mental state. If you have somebody that is addicted to drugs and they're having a really hard time, and they go into a recovery program and you go to see them and you're like, oh, you know, I had an addiction to the drugs. I was in two weeks of recovery. I was out. I've been clean for 15 years. And then this person has a completely different chemical makeup. Their addiction is completely different. They come out of rehab, let's say a month, and it's a struggle for them not to go back. And then they do relapse. How do you think that they're going to feel knowing that you were like, hey, I, two weeks out, I've been sober 
you know, 10, 15 years now, you can do it. And then they can't do it, how bad they feel. And then that, how much that weighs on them. It's something that we have to constantly keep in the back of our mind. It's okay to share experiences. You can go up to somebody and be like, hey, I had that surgery done. It was not bad for me. I was able to get in, have it, get out the same day. And in a week, I felt pretty good to do normal stuff within you know, my doctor's recommendations. But you have to remember that your recovery is your recovery. It is not a competition. My situation is going to be completely different from somebody else's situation. It could be the same surgeon, the same hospital, the same surgery, and our outcomes are going to be completely different. Our recovery is going to be completely different because we're individual people. And I just hate to see this type of mentality that's coming that is is hurting people and it's making people feel confused and bad when they don't live up to somebody else's type of recovery. And like I said, it's the same thing it, you apply to any situation of recovery. If you lost a family member and somebody were to come up to you and be like, oh, you know, the pain, it'll get better. You know, it hurts now and it's sad now, but, you know, you'll think fondly back in a year Maybe not. Your relationship may be completely different with your family member you lost than this family member did. And if in a year they're still depressed and they're still sad and they're still in deep mourning, it just adds to the fact that they see you and you're like, oh, you know, you should be better by now. I, I didn't mourn for that long. We can't be like that in a society. And I'm not the type to be easily offended. I don't get offended by much at all. It takes a whole lot to offend me because I really just don't care. If you're not somebody within my immediate group and my immediate family, I'm not that concerned with what you have to say. And that may be a harsh thing to throw out there. And that may be another video we need to do completely separate. But I'm not offended easy. But I do worry about the fact that, like, with my recovery and with my illness that people are like, oh, you know, my aunt has that and she's not nearly as sick as you are. She doesn't miss some of the events that you miss because she doesn't feel as bad as you feel. She's not me. You don't know what I'm going through. I don't know what you're going through. And the only thing I can do is share my experience as my experience to maybe help you prepare for your experience because they're not going to be the same. And I just want us to go through and just be conscious in the back of our mind as to what we're telling somebody else and that we're not telling them that what they're going through is wrong because it's not what we went through. And I don't want to be the one to be like, oh, you know, your recovery took 16 weeks. Mine took six. I'm the winner because there is no winner. The only winner and the only prize is that as individuals, we do recover. We're not judging ourselves on somebody else's recovery. Nobody's out there tallying up how many weeks it took you to get better, how much pain medicine you had to take, how many nights you stayed up crying over your loved one, how long it took you in rehab. Nobody's keeping that score. And what you need to remember is that it's, it's you. Your recovery is your recovery. Your recovery is within yourself. It's not anybody else's. And if yours is different, it takes longer, it seems harder than somebody else's, that's okay. What you need to understand is that you need to keep going. You need to keep pushing through. When that recovery happens and you're recovered and you're better and you're happier and you're healthier, that's your prize not how long it took you to get there, not the ride and the journey that it took you to get there, not the hardships and the obstacles that you went over on the way, but that you made it, that you did it, and that you're better. So when you're going off telling your story to somebody else, make sure you let them know that it's your story and that their story may be completely different and that you're here for them if that story is different. Because it would be kind of boring if all of our recoveries and all of our stories were the same because we're not. And that's all. I don't have anything else to say. So I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. Stay sweet, y'all.